Supporters of the Crown Act say that it is anti-discrimination legislation. While it has not been filed yet in Texas, supporters say it brings light to an issue happening here and across the country. Hair Love, a seven-minute animated short, is about a black father who has to do his daughter's hair for the first time. Producer and former NFL receiver Matthew A. Cherry says he created the film to bring more representation to animated projects. And on Hollywood's biggest night, there was a chance to highlight a Texas teen suspended from school because his hair violated the dress code. I would probably say somewhat appalling, um, but it saddens me that a young black male that is approaching graduation that he is not just being celebrated. Garland State Representative Retta Andrews Bowers is talking about Houston area teen DeAndre Arnold. Arnold says his ability to graduate was threatened if he didn't cut his dreadlocks. Check out my man tomorrow on the carpet, the Oscar carpet. Right here. The incident quickly gained national attention. NBA All-Star Dwayne Wade and his wife Gabrielle Union flew Arnold and his mother to L.A. to walk the red carpet with the Hair Love crew. After the film won the Oscar for Best Animated Short, Cherry called for states to pass the Crown Act. Crown stands for Creating a Respectful and Open World for Natural Hair. It's a bill members of the Texas House Democratic Caucus are working on. It is anti-discrimination legislation that would be put in place protections for grooming. Lawmakers in more than 20 states have already passed or filed Crown Act legislation. Representative Bauer says here in Texas, the process is still in the education and awareness phase. It would put in protections in the workplace and in our local public schools. Bauer says her office has been contacted by multiple people citing similar natural hair related issues in school or in the workplace here in North Texas. She believes these incidents have gone underreported. Bowers believes a movement for change is already underway. I would hope that it would have bipartisan support, especially because it's an anti-discrimination bill. And I think uh, I would, would hope that my colleagues on either side of the aisle would be in support of something, uh, of legislation like that. Now, the school district for the school that the teen went to says that this is not a racial issue or even a dreadlocks issue. They say that the rule is about the length of a male student's hair. Heather. Stephen, thank you.